Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode. Today we're going to be reviewing hamsters. We're going to review them in two different ways. One, as a product, and two, as a pet. First off, let's start with the pet, or the product review, or review them as a product. First off, they're very cheap. We're, get, we're going to kind of, I'm going to break up to the pros and cons. So, as a product, a pro, they're cheap. There's lots of variety, different varieties of hamsters. There's robos, there's fancies, there's a regular size. There's lots of different varieties, so that's a big pro. Uh, another one, they last quite long, or quite a while. They live about two to four years, so you're going to get your money's, money's worth out of them, which is pretty good. I mean, you want to get your money's worth out of the products you buy, so, yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, cons. Uh, I didn't really find any cons. I guess the only con is that it's a product that you can't really interact with, and... When I buy products, I, I like to be able to interact with them a lot. And so, you know, the ones that I bought, which are Robo hamsters, they're quite quite tiny. So you can't really interact with them a whole lot. You can't hold them a whole lot because, you know, you might squish them because they're only about two inches long. And I would say that's the biggest downfall of them. Uh, now, as a pet, you know, I'm going to break it up into pros and cons again. So the pros are, you know, they're very small, they're adorable. They're very cute and fluffy, super fluffy. Uh, there's a lot of things you can buy for them, like a variety of different houses. You can add on tunnels and like lookouts and little, you know, things they can crawl up into and have a lot of fun, I guess you could say. Uh, the product, like the food and stuff like that is very cheap. So as a pet, you know, it's not a whole lot to take care of and it's not a whole lot of money to take, you know, to spend on a food. I think our food that we buy, we buy it at a, a local uh, pet shop here in town, and we buy it by the pound, and it's like a dollar a pound or something like that for the food that they like to eat. Each hamster is different, so you got to find that food that your hamster likes to eat, and that's important because if not, they're going to starve. But anyways, our hamsters, they like this food. They really like sunflower seeds. Our our hamsters do. Anyways, so we spend you know about two bucks and get two pounds of food, and that will last us probably about a month. Food is cheap, you know. Most of the stuff, the treats you can buy them are pretty cheap. We bought them some uh, yogurt drops, and they were, I believe, 10 bucks. And there was like, I don't know, 30 of them, and we're still not done. And we bought them when we first bought them. And we bought them when they were three months old, and now they're nine months old. So, you know, they've lasted six months. And, we, you know, we don't give them too many treats that often because they do get diabetes if you feed them too many sugary treats and stuff like that. So that's something you got to look for, out for as a pet. That's definitely a downfall. Uh, I'm getting off track, so back to the pros and cons. So I, I said the pro, one pro is that they're small, adorable, fluffy. Definitely a beautiful animal, you know. Not beautiful, but definitely a cute animal to get, you know what I mean? Uh, lots of variety of things you can buy them, so it's kind of cool. Uh, the cons. Uh, like I said, as a product, they last quite a while, you know, two to four years, but as a pet, that's kind of short for them, you know. They only live to be about two to four years. And as a pet, that's kind of sad, and you don't want that. You want your pets to last a long time. So that's, to me, I'm, I'm listing that as a con. Uh, uh, like I said earlier, they're not very interactive as a pet. So, you know, I like to interact with my pets also. And you can't really hold the ones that I got, the robo hamsters, because they're really tiny, and I don't want to hurt them, because I'm a big guy, you know. I'm like six foot. And 250 pounds so compared to a little hamster that weighs you know five grams you know it's kind of scary holding them because i don't want to crush them and the other con the biggest con to me is that they're very noisy and they're when they're very noisy when you try to sleep because that's when they're up they're up at night when you're trying to sleep and you know at first the first couple of months it was really annoying for me and it was hard for me to get you know fall asleep and get used to all that but i did obviously and now it doesn't bother me but if that if you can't fall asleep with people or with noise around you, then definitely put your hamsters in a different room if you're gonna buy a hamster. Uh, so as a product, would I buy it? Definitely. As a pet, would I buy it? Definitely. Yeah, there are some cons for both of them, you know, both ways you view them as a product or a pet. But ultimately, I would definitely buy. I would definitely give hamsters a buy. Uh, if you have any comments, or you know, if you know any little fun facts about them, please leave them. Leave it in the comments below. Please like the video and please subscribe. Thank you.